All right, let's check out the maker space. Sydney is a biomedical engineering major who has been able to spend time in multiple labs at UConn doing research as an undergraduate. One of the many things that sets UConn apart. She's gonna tell us what it's like to have a hands-on role at a Research One university. Take it away, Sydney. Thanks, Alex. Hi, everyone. I'm originally from Albany, New York, and I chose UConn for its sense of community, proximity to home, and how well-rounded it is. Many other schools I looked at excelled in one department, whereas UConn had great programs all around, so I had to take advantage of all these opportunities. In the past, I've served on the executive board for the undergraduate student government, as well as UConn's chapter of the National Society of Black Engineers. Additionally, I've worked as a teaching assistant, a campus tour guide, and I even sang the national anthem for basketball games, volleyball games, and many other events. One thing you'll find out about UConn is that there's opportunities for everyone here, no matter your major. I'm a biomedical engineering student, yet I work in a material science engineering lab and a civil engineering lab, which I was able to do after speaking with my professors. UConn is an R1 institution, meaning that nearly every professor here is conducting some sort of research. In order to get involved, students can simply send an email to the professors and set up a meeting to find out more. Additionally, if students have a particular project or idea in mind, they can receive funding through UConn's IDEA grant of up to $4,000 to begin a project of their own. My friend Wawa received this award the summer after her freshman year, which goes to show that UConn wants you to get involved as early as your first year here on campus. Students can also find out about opportunities from our Center Career Development Research Fair, as well as our amazing research website, which details all of the programs that are currently going on. These resources all go to show that UConn wants you to excel in your classes, conduct research, and still have time to take part in extracurricular activities. Let me tell you a bit about my research. I currently work in the Kassman Building in the center of campus, which is our main engineering building. There, I assist Dr. Kai and graduate students to understand and analyze the properties of nanofibers within ultra-high performance concrete. My daily tasks range from mixing samples, casting samples, grinding, and polishing them. Afterwards, we conduct a series of stress and compression tests to understand the benefits of each individual mixture. The state of Connecticut is currently experiencing a concrete crisis, which is affecting the foundations of people's homes. So I'm so glad to be a part of the group working on solving this problem. When I'm not in this lab, I'm in a material science engineering lab funded by Pratt & Whitney. There, I work alongside another undergraduate student to analyze thermal barrier coatings at high temperatures. We also analyze CMAS samples through viscometers, optical pyrometry, and a gradient rig. I wish I could show you guys the inside of this lab, but it's currently top secret, so I guess that'd have to be another time. So, if you couldn't already tell, UConn really wants you to become a part of something bigger than yourself. I know that I'm beyond grateful for all the opportunities I've had to help make a difference, but also because of the connections I've made with undergraduate students and graduate students. So thanks, Alex, for letting me share my story. Back to you. Sydney, that's fantastic. I love how even with all the work you've done in labs on campus, you've been able to fit in all kinds of other activities, even singing the national anthem before basketball games. It goes to show how much opportunity there is at UConn, regardless of what your passion is. Thanks, Sydney. 